Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss multiple choice question with solution on chemical reaction engineering, which are mostly related to order of reaction. If you know the answer of any question, please comment in comment box. If you like my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, let's see first question. In the reaction a gives arc, the rate of reaction doubles as the concentration of A is doubled. If minus RA is proportional to CA raised to N, then what is the value of N? Options are Option A 0 0.5 Option B 1 Option C 0 Option D 2 So answer is Option B, 1. Now let's see explanation. Given, reaction rate is proportional to CA raised to N. Hence, for initial condition, rate of reaction can be written as minus RA1 is proportional to CA1 raised to N. And, for second condition, rate of reaction can be written as minus RA2 is proportional to CA2 raised to N. If we divide first condition rate by second condition rate, we get RA1 divided by RA2 is equal to CA1 raised to N divided by CA2 raised to N which can be written as CA1 divided by CA2 whole raised to N. If we take ln of both side, we get ln of RA1 divided by RA2 is equal to N into ln of CA1 divided by CA2. So we get N is equal to ln of RA1 divided by RA2 divided by ln of CA1 divided by CA2. Now, given when CA2 is equal to twice CA1, minus RA2 is equal to minus 2 into RA1. If we put this in above equation, we get N is equal to ln of RA1 divided by 2 into RA1 divided by ln of CA1 divided by 2 into CA1. After solving this we get N is equal to 1. Hence answer is option B 1. Now next question. The value of N for a chemical reaction, A gives B, whose reaction rate minus RA is proportional to CA raised to N, will be, if the rate of reaction increases by, a factor of 8, when the concentration of A is doubled. Options are, Option A, 3. Option B, 1 Option C 0 Option D 2 So answer is Option A 3 Now let's see explanation Given 
Reaction rate is proportional to Ca raised to N. Hence, for initial condition, rate of reaction can be written as minus Ra1 is proportional to Ca1 raised to N. And for second condition, rate of reaction can be written as minus Ra2 is directly proportional to Ca2 raised to N. If we divide first condition rate by second condition rate, we get Ra1 divided by Ra2 is equal to Ca1 raised to N divided by Ca2 raised to N, which can be written as Ca1 divided by Ca2 whole raised to N. If we take Ln of both sides, we get ln of Ra1 divided by ln of Ra2 is equal to n into ln of Ca1 divided by Ca2. So we get n is equal to ln of Ra1 divided by Ra2 divided by ln of Ca1 divided by Ca2. Now given that, when Ca2 is equal to twice Ca1, minus Ra2 is equal to minus 8 into Ra1. If we put this in above equation, we get n is equal to ln of Ra1 divided by 8 into Ra1 divided by ln of Ca1 divided by 2 into Ca1. After solving this, we get n is equal to 3. Hence answer is option A, 3. Now, next question. What is the value of n? For a chemical reaction A gives B, whose reaction rate is proportional to Ca raised to N. And if the rate of reaction triples, when the concentration of A is increases 9 times. Options are, option A, 3. Option B, 1 by 3. Option C. 1 by 2. Option D. 1 by 9. So answer is. Option C. 1 by 2. Now. Let's see explanation. Given. Reaction rate is proportional to Ca raised to N. Hence, for initial condition, rate of reaction can be written as minus Ra1 is directly proportional to Ca1 raised to N. And, for second condition, rate of reaction can be written as minus Ra2 is directly proportional to Ca2 raised to N. If we divide first condition rate by second condition rate, we get Ra1 divided by Ra2 is equal to Ca1 raised to N divided by Ca2 raised to N, which can be written as Ca1 divided by Ca2 whole raised to N. If we take Ln of both sides, we get ln of Ra1 divided by ln of Ra2 is equal to n into ln of Ca1 divided by Ca2. So we get n is equal to ln of Ra1 divided by Ra2 divided by ln of Ca1 divided by Ca2. Now given that, when 
CA2 is equal to 9 CA1 minus RA2 is equal to minus thrice RA1. If we put this in above equation, we get N is equal to LN of RA1 divided by 3 into RA1 divided by LN of CA1 divided by 9 into CA1. After solving this we get N is equal to 1 by 2. Hence answer is option C 1 by 2. Now next question. For a chemical reaction A gives B. On doubling the concentration of A, the reaction rate quadruples. And if reaction rate is proportional to CA raised to N, then what is the value of N? Options are Option A 4 Option B 1 by 4 Option C 16 Option D 2 So answer is option D 2. Now let's see explanation. Given reaction rate is proportional to CA raised to N. Hence for initial condition rate of reaction can be written as minus RA1 is directly proportional to CA1 raised to N. And, for second condition, rate of reaction can be written as minus RA2 is directly proportional to CA2 raised to N. If we divide first condition rate by second condition rate, we get RA1 divided by RA2 is equal to CA1 raised to N divided by CA2 raised to N, which can be written as CA1 divided by CA2 whole raised to N. If we take LN of both sides, we get LN of RA1 divided by RA2 is equal to N into LN of CA1 divided by CA2. So we get N is equal to LN of RA1 divided by RA2 divided by LN of CA1 divided by CA2. Now given that when CA2 is equal to twice CA1 minus RA2 is equal to minus 4 RA1. If we put this in above equation, we get N is equal to LN of RA1 divided by 4 into RA1 divided by LN of CA1 divided by 2 into CA1. After solving this we get N is equal to 2. Hence answer is Option D. 2. So that's all about important questions on chemical reaction engineering. In the next video, we will discuss another set of questions. If you like my video, please like my video. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel.